Okay, so following the original version of this video, I thought I would just update it as the original was one of my first videos for the channel and so could do with redoing. Anyway, before we get into the discussion, I want to just clarify that when I refer to 1080p or 1440p, I am referring to their ultra-wide counterparts, as opposed to the standard reference to a 16x9 resolution. It'll just save me from saying 2560x1080 and 3440x1440 over and over. So the base fact is that Windows, Mac, Linux all support 21x9, so the underlying support for ultra-wide resolutions is already there. However, just because something is supported doesn't mean the support is perfect, and there are definitely pros and cons for using ultra-wide resolutions. Bigger isn't always better, at least at the time we're making this video. So let's start with ultra-wide 1080p due to the fact that it's simply a 640 pixel increase in width over its 16x9 counterpart, support for it is extremely good. As personal experience with said resolution, I can easily state that broadly speaking you will run into few issues, with simple bugs like windows snapping out of position to their 16x9 size or, and this is a very new one for me and hopefully won't remain for long, but the iTunes store simply refuses to load anything whilst full screen, but bring down its window width and suddenly everything loads. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it highlights the kind of problems ultra-wide users must endure. Not to mention some games failing to support 21x9 and simply adding black bars to the sides of the image. But as I say, for everything else I do, it works perfectly. For example, movies are rarely sold in higher than 1080p quality, so a higher resolution monitor wouldn't add to the experience in most cases. And that's really the whole point with ultra-wide 1080p. It gives you the basic extra width, but without all the hassle that 1440p holds. However, of course, it lacks the benefits of a higher pixel density. So now focusing on ultra-wide 1440p, clearly pixel density is the only difference between the two ultra-wide resolutions currently available, and I've highlighted 1080p grants you a near trouble-free experience. So why would you want to add in other issues by using a 1440p monitor? Driving that many pixels is certainly one of the big deterrents for many users, gaming being the particular focus here as 1440p is 80% more pixels to render than 1080p, so you'll require some serious graphics horsepower. However, for anything else such as productivity, running a 1440p screen isn't going to be much trouble, unless you're on some kind of integrated graphics setup. All OS's support text scaling and Windows and Mac have both made clear points that they are future-proof to support extremely high resolutions like 5K and 8K, even though those can be further from being the standard. It is, however, with third-party programs that issues arise for 1440. Some programs simply don't support the resolution, either stretching or simply staying at the 1080p resolutions with text, icons, becoming minutely small, making reading or clicking within the program a nightmare. Back on the gaming side, ultra-wide 1080p gaming is fraught with issues already, hence my channel, but 1440 has a number of other issues on top. As 1080p is the current standard and anything larger is not really specifically catered for, you must be prepared to face generally minor issues, but issues nonetheless that not a large number of people will be facing, and so potentially finding fixes for them could be problematic. A good example of this is Steam lacks any kind of support for text scaling, a ridiculous oversight on Valve's behalf, but it does make using the software difficult for high resolution users. Furthermore, if you want to run a game at a lower resolution than 1440, such as 1080p, due to the fact that 1080p doesn't nicely divide into 1440 in the same way that it does 4K, you can't do exact pixel mapping, and so the image becomes distorted. Arguably, there are ways to overcome the issues mentioned, but there will just always have to be a compromise until support is native. So you could run a game at 1080p in windowed mode, but then it's just going to be really small, and that's not really an option. You could try forcing the image to scale up from 1080p to 1440 and see how it reacts to the odd pixel's density. You basically have to ask yourself, do you mind the issues it creates? As stated, there are numerous issues for 1440p users, however the pros are seriously lovely. 
The increased pixel density allows for crisper, richer images. It provides a wealth of detail to what you're viewing and simply shows how dated 1080p really is. It allows for a massive increase in the amount you can fit onto your screen at any one moment and the details in your games really start to pop. So the question is, are you willing to put up with the issues that 4040p brings or spend the time to fix them in order to get the dramatically improved experience for everything that works correctly? Or will you just wait until 4K equivalents hit the 21 by 9 aspect ratio so you remove the scaling issues with things like gaming or wait for the cost of current high-end graphics cards to fall in order to power 1440p more easily and affordably? So I hope that gives you a bit of a look into both sides of the arguments for and against the resolutions and helps you decide if the step up really is worth it. Let me know in the comments which side you sit on and for anything else 21 by 9 related be sure to check out my channel. Give this video a like if you found it helpful and remember to subscribe if you want to keep on top of everything ultra wide. Have a good day.